Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at the bear call spread trade. This trade is placed when a trader is bearish on price, but wants to limit his possible loss to a fixed maximum amount if price rises. The bear call spread is one of the basic spread trades. The concept of the basic spread trade is using two offsetting options such that the potential profit and potential loss from both have fixed maximum amounts based on the difference between the premium for both options that is either collected or paid up front and the difference between the two strike prices. It is important to remember that because a trader can either buy or sell a put option and a trader can either buy or sell a call option, the pricing of options is necessarily based on probability of outcome. Therefore, the ratio of maximum possible profit versus the maximum possible loss is directly proportional to the probability of the trade making money. To place a bear call spread, a trader sells a call option and buys a call option with a higher strike price on the same stock that both expire at the same time. The option the trader sells has a lower strike price and therefore a higher cost, and the option the trader buys has a higher strike price and therefore a lower cost. Because the trader is selling a call option that has a lower strike price than the call option that he buys, the cost or premium the trader collects up front for the option he sells will always be higher than the cost he pays for the option that he buys. In other words, the trader collects and keeps the difference between the two premiums. The trader's maximum potential profit for this trade is the difference between the upfront premium he collects selling the call with the lower strike price and the upfront premium or cost the trader pays to buy the call with the higher strike price. The trader's maximum potential loss is the difference in premiums that he collects up front minus the difference between the two strike prices. Let's look at an example using Yahoo. At the time of making this video, Yahoo is $34.48 a share. A trader could place a bear call spread by selling the $36 call option and buying the $37 call option. Both of these options expire in about seven weeks. The $36 call option costs $1.19 and the $37 call option costs 89 cents. Selling the $36 call and buying the $37 call means that the trader collects 30 cents a share up front. The 30 cents up front premium that the trader receives is his maximum potential profit. If the price of Yahoo remains below both strike prices, both call options expire worthless and the trader keeps the 30 cent premium that he was paid up front as profit. If the price of Yahoo rises above $36, the call option that the trader sold begins to have intrinsic value. If the price of Yahoo rises above $37, the call option that the trader bought begins to have intrinsic value. This means that for $37 and above, the loss on the call option that was sold is the same amount as the gain on the call option that was bought. So let's break this down. The trader sold a call option with a strike price of $36. Therefore, if the price of Yahoo is over $36 when the option expires, the trader is obligated to sell his 100 shares of Yahoo for $36 to the person that purchased the option. The trader also bought the right to buy Yahoo for $37 if the price of Yahoo is $37 or higher. Therefore, if the price of Yahoo is $37 or higher, the trader buys Yahoo for $37, sells it for $36, and loses a dollar per share. However, he was paid 30 cents a share up front for placing the spread, so his loss is the 30 cents he was paid up front minus the dollar he loses on Yahoo for a loss of 70 cents a share. This is his maximum possible loss on the trade. I'll mention that if this was a real trade, the trader doesn't actually buy and resell Yahoo. If he holds the spread until the options expire, the profit or loss from the trade is simply added or subtracted from his account. If the price of Yahoo is between $36 and $37, the option the trader bought expires worthless. However, the option that the trader sold has intrinsic value. The strike price is $36 and the price of Yahoo is above $36. The intrinsic value is the difference between the current price of Yahoo and the $36 strike price. In other words, the trader must theoretically buy Yahoo at the market price that is between $36 and $37 sell it for $36 and lose the difference. That loss is subtracted from the 30 cents the trader was paid up front. The break-even point is the strike price of $36 
plus the 30 cent premium that the trader was paid up front for placing the spread, making the break even point on this trade $36.30. If the price of Yahoo is between $36 and $36.30, the profit is between 0 and 30 cents a share. If the price of Yahoo is between $36.30 and $37, the loss is between 0 and 70 cents a share. So to recap, Yahoo is currently $34.48 a share. If the price of Yahoo is below $36, both options expire worthless and the trader keeps the 30 cents a share he was paid up front as profit. This is his maximum possible profit on this trade. If the price of Yahoo is above $37, both options are exercised, meaning the trader buys Yahoo for $37, sells it for $36, and loses a dollar on Yahoo. However, he was paid 30 cents up front, so his loss is 70 cents a share. This is his maximum possible loss. If the price of Yahoo is between $36 and $37, the $37 call option the trader bought expires worthless. However, the $36 call option the trader sold has between zero and a dollar's worth of intrinsic value per share. The trader loses his value, however he was paid 30 cents a share up front, so his profit or loss is the 30 cent premium that he collected up front, minus the intrinsic value of the $36 call option that he sold. The break even point is $36.30. So that's the bear call spread. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.